morning boys and girls and welcome to today's assembly. I know that Mr Barr has been very busy taking care of Paul and Simon back at school. But I thought you'd be interested to know about Debbie and Amy. And guess what? They're here in lockdown with me. They've been staying in the countryside in Grey Abbey. And I'm just about to go out on my daily exercise. And guess what? Debbie and Amy are going to go with me. I wonder what they'll see when they're out on their walk today. First of all, they went to visit the sheep. The sheep were very hungry today. Oh, and even the lamb went to get some food. Debbie and Amy went to play hide and seek in the old farmhouse. Debbie, Amy, where are you? Oh, there you are. I thought I'd lost you in the countryside. Debbie and Amy stopped for a rest and then they noticed a beautiful white horse. It was stunning. It was also very hungry like the sheep. Debbie and Amy stopped to meet the cows. One was very friendly. We think he liked the look of Amy's hair. Maybe he thought it was straw. So boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed seeing Debbie and Amy going out in the countryside for their walk. I hope you're enjoying walks with your family too. Always look around at all of the beautiful things in nature and hope to see you back at school very soon. Bye! safe at this time. My name is Phil McQuaid and I'm one of the youth workers at Shore Street Presbyterian Church. I've missed being in school on a Monday and some of you may recognise me from being in school. So a big hello to everyone who's in Mrs Atkinson's and Mrs Wooten's class. 
Now, I've been watching some of these home assembly videos and I am so impressed by how active your teachers are. It's so important to keep fit at this time. We need to be getting out and doing exercise so we can stay nice, fit and healthy. Now, as well as keeping healthy, we need to eat, okay? Now, me, I'm a foodie person. I love to eat. And I have to be honest, boys and girls, I've been eating a little bit too much at this time. And I have to confess something. I've been eating some unhealthy food. See, I love snacks. And one of my favourite snacks is Skittles and a can of Fanta. And I've been eating these, boys and girls. And sometimes it's not good for me. I need to be eating really good food. I need to be eating my fruit and I need to be eating my vegetables. Because if we keep eating these unhealthy food, it'll rot our teeth and it'll make us very sick. As our fruit and vegetables will help us to go nice and big and strong and healthy. So that's why your teachers have been doing that to encourage you. But boys and girls, I have something else in my diet that helps me to grow big and strong and to keep me healthy. And that's the Bible. I've been reading this every day. Now, we can't eat the Bible. Ugh, it's disgusting. We can't eat the Bible. But we can read it. And in the Bible, it says this. And it's found in the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 4. Jesus answered, It is written, Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Now, what does this mean? Man does not live on bread alone. We have to eat bread every day to keep us healthy and to, to fill us up. But the food doesn't actually fill us, does it? Because what happens about an hour later? We get hungry again, don't we? We always want something more. But God's word, boys and girls, fills us. See, we always want something in our lives. We always want more food. We want to watch another episode of a TV program. We want the, another toy or another phone. But God's word fills us. And I, as a Christian, firmly believe that God's word fills me. I have to have God's word in my diet to give me what I need every day. See, boys and girls, we've been living in a very tough time. And I know some of us have been struggling through this time. And for what's getting me through this time is the Bible. It is God's word. And I would love to encourage you to read the Bible. And some of you boys and girls have been coming along to Scripture Union. So you might have a Jesus Storybook Bible. And I would love you to read that. But boys and girls, if you don't have a Bible, I would encourage you to ask someone to get you one. Get the Jesus Storybook Bible to read. It is so good with lots of good pictures and it's very easy to read. Boys and girls, I know we will be meeting again soon in school. And I hope you will be patient until then because that's what we need to be at this time. But I'm going to pray for you now that you will get through this time and that we will see each other again soon. So let me pray. Dear God, I thank you for all these boys and girls and our teachers that are helping us through this time. Lord, we thank you for exercise and for healthy food that we can eat to keep ourselves going through this time. But Heavenly Father, we pray for the Bible, God, and we pray that we can all read it, Lord. And God, we thank you that we do not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from your mouth. And Lord, that you fill us and you give us what we need. So Heavenly Father, I pray for these boys and girls and I pray we will see them again soon. We pray all these things in your name. Hello again, boys and girls. Well, how are you getting on with the art competition I set last week? Remember, the one that said, what do you love about Dong Fu Di? You had to pick something like the harbour or lighthouse or the moat or the water tower or even the beach. I thought I'd get lots of entries, but we're missing a lot. Let's see if you can get drawing and painting. The great news is the art packs and stationery have arrived. They're now available for collection at the front desk. If you ordered one, your name is on it. If you forgot, there's still a few spare ones as well. Just call in and we'll make one up for you. Come on everyone, let's get drawing and painting. The prizes are fantastic. See you soon. Bye.